Welcome to Mountain High Skiing. Here, we're all about the thrill of skiing. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a beginner hitting the slopes for the first time, we've got you covered. We'll also provide you with useful tips and tricks on everything from gear and equipment to techniques and training, helping you take your skiing to the next level. So, whether you're looking to improve your skills, discover new terrain, or simply share in the love of skiing, you've come to the right place. There are several different levels of skiing that are used to categorize skiers based on their skills and experience on the slopes. In general, the different levels are Beginner This is for skiers who are just starting out and have little or no experience on the slopes. They are usually learning how to turn, stop and control their speed with pizza. Other videos on the first run Intermediate Skiers at this level have more experience and can ski on steeper slopes, use poles to turn, and control their speed better. Advanced. Skiers at this level are comfortable skiing on a variety of terrain, including steep and ungroomed slopes. They can also ski at higher speeds and use more advanced techniques, such as carving. Expert. Skiers at this level are highly skilled and can handle the most challenging terrain, including moguls, trees, and deep powder. They have excellent technique and can ski at very high speeds. The colors of ski trails are used to indicate their difficulty level and are standardized across ski resorts in North America. The colors and their meanings are as follows. Green. These trails are the easiest and are suitable for beginners. They are typically wide and gentle, with a low gradient. Blue. These trails are for intermediate skiers and are slightly steeper than green trails. They may also have some obstacles, such as small bumps or rollers. Black. These trails are for advanced skiers and are steep and challenging. They may have moguls, steep drops, or other obstacles that require advanced technique to navigate. Double Black Diamond. These trails are for expert skiers only and are the most challenging. They may have steep drops, tight trees, and other hazards that require exceptional skill and experience to navigate. A green run on a ski mountain is typically the easiest type of run and is suitable for beginners who are just learning to ski. Here's what you can expect from a green run. Slope. A green run will have a gentle slope, with a gradient of no more than 25%. This means it won't be too steep, making it easier for beginners to control their speed. Terrain. The terrain on a green run is generally smooth and free of obstacles like rocks, trees, or bumps. This means you won't have to worry about navigating around obstacles and can focus on learning and improving your technique. Width. Green runs are typically wider than other types of runs, which gives skiers more space to practice their turns and control their speed. Crowd. Since green runs are suitable for beginners, they can be more crowded than other runs. This means you might encounter more skiers and snowboarders on a green run, which can make it harder to navigate around others. Scenery. Green runs are often situated in beautiful and scenic areas, offering stunning views of the mountains and surrounding landscape. Overall, you can expect a green run to be a great place to start your skiing journey. It's a safe and comfortable environment to learn and practice your skiing skills, with plenty of space and gentle terrain to help you build your confidence on the slopes. A blue run on a ski mountain is a step up in difficulty from a green run, and is typically suitable for intermediate skiers. Here's what you can expect from a blue run. Slope. A blue run will have a slightly steeper slope than a green run, with a gradient of up to 40%. This means you'll need to be comfortable with controlling your speed and making turns on steeper terrain. Terrain. The terrain on a blue run can vary, with some parts being smooth and others having bumps or moguls. You may also encounter small jumps or rollers, which can provide some fun challenges. Width. Blue runs are generally narrower than green runs, which means you'll have less space to make wide turns or slow down. This can make it more challenging to avoid other skiers or snowboarders. Crowd. Since blue runs are suitable for intermediate skiers, they can still be quite busy. However, the crowds may be more spread out than on a green run, which can make it easier to navigate. Scenery. Blue runs can offer stunning views, just like green runs, but they may also take you through more challenging terrain with more exciting scenery. Overall, you can expect a blue run to be a fun and exciting challenge for intermediate skiers. It will help you develop your skills on slightly steeper and more varied terrain while still offering a safe and enjoyable environment. You'll have the chance to practice making turns, controlling your speed, and navigating through more complex terrain features. A black run on a ski mountain is the most challenging type of run and is typically suitable for advanced or expert skiers. Here's what you can expect from a black run. Slope. 
A black run will have a steep slope, with a gradient of up to 45% or more. This means you'll need to be comfortable with skiing on very steep terrain and controlling your speed at high velocities. Terrain. The terrain on a black run can be very varied, with steep drops, moguls, and other obstacles like rocks, trees, or cliffs. You may encounter narrow chutes, steep pitches, and other challenging terrain features that require advanced skiing skills. Width. Black runs are typically narrower than blue runs, which means you'll have less space to make turns or avoid obstacles. This can make it more challenging to navigate and requires more precision in your skiing technique. Crowd. Since black runs are the most challenging type of run, they are usually less crowded than other runs. However, the skiers and snowboarders on a black run are likely to be very skilled and may be moving at high speeds, which requires additional caution and awareness. Scenery. Black runs can take you through some of the most breathtaking and dramatic terrain on a mountain, such as steep cliffs or narrow gorges. The views can be stunning, but you'll need to stay focused on your skiing to navigate the challenging terrain. Overall, you can expect a black run to be a thrilling and challenging experience for advanced skiers. It will test your skiing skills, technique, and endurance, and requires a high level of confidence and control. You'll have the chance to ski on some of the most exciting and varied terrain on the mountain, but it's important to be aware of the risks and to take appropriate precautions. A double black diamond run on a ski mountain is the most difficult type of run and is typically suitable only for the most experienced and skilled skiers. Here's what you can expect from a double black diamond run. Slope. A double black diamond run will have a very steep slope, with a gradient of 45% or more. The terrain can be extremely challenging, with steep drops, large moguls, and other obstacles that require advanced skiing skills to navigate. Terrain. The terrain on a double black diamond run is very technical and can include challenging features such as narrow chutes, steep drops, and deep powder. You'll need to have excellent balance, agility, and control to ski these types of runs. Width. Double black diamond runs are typically narrow, which means you'll have less space to make turns or avoid obstacles. This requires a high level of precision and control in your skiing technique. Crowd. Double black diamond runs are the least crowded type of run, but the skiers and snowboarders who do ski these runs are likely to be very skilled and experienced. This means that you'll need to be extra cautious and aware of your surroundings to avoid collisions. Scenery. Double black diamond runs can offer some of the most stunning and dramatic scenery on the mountain, with views of steep cliffs, narrow chutes, and rugged alpine terrain. Overall, you can expect a double black diamond run to be a very challenging and technical experience, reserved only for the most skilled and experienced skiers. It requires a high level of confidence, control, and physical endurance to ski these runs, and it's important to take appropriate safety precautions. Double black diamond runs are not for everyone, and it's important to assess your own skill level and comfort with steep and technical terrain before attempting to ski them. Hey guys it's time to go but I'm happy because I got to share this information with all of you. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it taught you something new. Don't forget to smash that like button, and hit subscribe to be notified of all the new content coming your way. And as always, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for future videos, please leave them down below. Don't forget to check out our links below that do help sponsor our channel and ensure you have the right gear. Let's go shred!